Well, hello, boys and girls. How are you? I hope you're all doing good and keeping well and having a really good week. Now, I'm going to tell you a story for your assembly today. Now, who has ever been to Scotland? Now, I'm sure some of you are maybe putting your hands up. I can't see your hands, obviously, but I'm sure some of you have been to Scotland. And if you have been to Scotland, I wonder, have you ever been to a city called Edinburgh? And maybe some of you are putting your hands up again to show your teachers that you have been to Edinburgh. Well, I lived in Edinburgh for two years. That is where I was at Bible College. So I was there for two years and I love the city of Edinburgh. Well, if you have ever been to Edinburgh, you may have seen a statue as you have been walking about and it's a statue of a little dog. I wonder, have you ever seen the statue of the little dog like this? Well, this little statue is called Grey Friars Bobby. And Grey Friars Bobby is a really famous dog. And you see, this dog was belonging, there's another little picture of the actual statue and um, it says some words underneath but you'll find out about that in a little minute and you see this man owned um, the little dog and you see this dog loved his owner and this owner loved his dog just the way if you have a dog at home or any other pet I'm sure you love your pet very very much and your pet loves you as well and you see this little dog loved um, its owner and his owner loved it but you see this um, dog um, then had a very sad story because you see this old man the dog's owner died and whenever the owner died the little dog had nobody to be with but this dog, even though his owner had died, he still showed his owner love and loyalty. Because do you know what the little dog did? The little dog went to the graveyard where this man was buried and he stayed at the man's grave. And he stayed at the man's grave for a long, long, long time. So even though he, his owner wasn't um, with him anymore, the wee dog was still very, very loyal to him and showed his love to him. And he um, was doing that. And you see, boys and girls, this reminds me of somebody else. And this reminds me of somebody who loves us all very, very much. And that person is the Lord Jesus. And you see, Jesus loved, the Bible says, that Jesus loved the world very, very, very much. And there's a little um, thing in the Bible, and it says that um, there's a verse in the Bible, and it's in Matthew chapter 22, verse 37, and it says, Jesus said unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy mind. And you see, because God loved us so much, he sent Jesus, his son, to die on the cross. And you see, that's why if you're a Christian boy or girl, you um, need to love the Lord your God so very much because he has done so much for you. And the way that um, the little dog was loyal to his owner, you need to be loyal to Jesus as well. But we need to show love and loyalty to other people as well. And those people are our friends. You see, that little dog loved his owner even after his owner was gone. And the dog was getting no love in return. And sometimes we have to show love and friendship to people even if they don't show it back to us. And there's another wee thing in the Bible and it says, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. And that just means treat people the way you would want to be treated yourself. 
And I want you always to remember that, especially if you're out in the playground and if you see somebody maybe on their own and you think to yourself, would I like to be on my own in the playground? Would you like to be on your own in the playground? No. So then you include that person who is maybe on their own and you treat people the way you would want to be treated yourself. And I want you to show loyalty to your friends, just the way this little dog showed loyalty to his master. And I want you to remember that you should love people, but that we can most importantly about Jesus showing his love on the cross. Won't you remember that? And the next time you're in Edinburgh, you can maybe go ask your mummies and daddies to go looking for this little statue and to show you the statue of Grey Friars Bobby. Won't you do that? But won't you remember to treat other people as you would like them to treat you and to remember the love of God. Okay, boys and girls, see you really soon. Bye.